<laughs> Did you guys ever pretend your orange slices were great big orange smiles? I used to love doing that when I was a kid. Oranges are pretty amazing. Your smiles are amazing, and better yet, your ability to use your words to bless and encourage others is absolutely amazing. Now this week, of course, we're talking about the color orange. We're talking about King David's last moments as the sun sets on his reign and the sun rises on King Solomon's reign. David used those last few minutes to take time out and bless his son, to encourage his son. He'd been trained up, he knew he was going to be king, but that's a pretty sad and scary moment, I would think, when all of a sudden, dad's not there to help you anymore and you have to rule this whole kingdom by yourself. So I think David really wanted to make sure that Solomon knew that he was going to be great and that as long as he followed God's words, no. he would be good. God was going to bless him as long as he followed the laws. Well, we're talking about oranges because of that bright orange sunrise. And so I wanted to share you a few of the blessings that I get from oranges. Of course, you can just eat the orange because it's amazing just the way it is. Or you can juice it. I've got some orange juice here collected. This is gonna be noisy. My juicer, you have to take the peels, the thick peels off first. That goes in there. That goes in there. This goes on. And the juice comes out. It's pretty cool. I'm actually hoping to make a marmalade or a type of jelly out of this, but that takes about two to three days. So that's not gonna be a video. But because I had to peel that orange before I could juice it, now I have all of these orange scraps. We let them dry out a little bit, and then we put them in a jar. Boop, boop, boop with some normal white vinegar. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar to that. I don't know if you know, but vinegar can be used in cleaning. And so the orange, the vinegar somehow takes the oils in the skin of the orange, and you can kind of already see, maybe, see in there? Um, the vinegar that was clear is turning a little bit orange. And so I'll use that in my cleaning. Another thing I like to use in my cleaning is actual oranges. Now, if I pick some of the oranges and they're not quite, well, they're too ripe, they're starting to go bad and I just don't wanna eat them, instead of throwing them out, I use them in the sink. Does your sink ever smell kind of weird or funky? Is it just my sink? I hope it's not just my sink. Oranges act as a deodorizer. So I will take it, I'll rub it down with some of the mess. My kid doesn't always throw the plates in the right way and so we have stuff go everywhere. I'll scrub it down with the orange I usually cut it in a slightly smaller shape because that's quite a bit for the garbage disposal to take all at once. Drop it in there with some water and a little bit more noise. And that helps the smell go away, which is an amazing blessing because who likes a stinky sink? It just makes the whole kitchen smell. So there you have it. There's a little bit of my orange, my orange knowledge. I don't have much that's orange, but I like oranges. 
Some people also, instead of soaking the peels and vinegar for cleaning, there's recipes out there to make candied orange peels. You can actually eat the orange peel. It's not my favorite thing. I haven't tried it too many times, but I don't plan on making it again. But just in case you want to try and you like things like that, you can make candied orange peels. So there you go. When you see orange, think of the new blessing of King Solomon's reign. Now he doesn't do everything right all the time, but he starts off pretty strong. And think how your words can be a sweet blessing to those around you. That one was too big. I'll see you later. Bye.